And we begin with that breaking news from Afghanistan, a devastating terror attack in the capital. An ambulance made to help the sick and the injured turned into a killing machine. People running in panic when the suicide car bomb went off in an area crowded with offices and shops. The blast causing massive damage, mangled pieces of buildings, as you can see, and cars blocking the street. The staggering toll, 95 dead, 158 injured. An official at a nearby hospital flooded with victims, calling it a massacre. The pace of terror attacks in Afghanistan picking up, this one claimed by the Taliban. And with the U.S. war there now in its 17th year, more American troops are about to arrive. ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel starts us off. Chaos in Kabul after a suicide bomber driving an ambulance detonates on a packed street in the Afghan capital, killing at least 95. <laughs> Panic as people flee the glass and debris from the surrounding buildings. Many racked with grief. This man losing his son in the blast. According to the Interior Ministry, a man told police he was taking a patient to the hospital before setting off the ambulance filled with explosives at a checkpoint. We were eating lunch. Suddenly huge explosions occurred, this shopkeeper said. More than 150 were injured in the attack near foreign embassies. The leader of CENTCOM was close by, but not hurt. I saw pieces of a vehicle on the road. It also created a crater on the road. The incident happened five meters away from my car. This has become a familiar scene. Paramedics and bystanders desperately trying to save who they can. Getting people to hospital by any means. Ambulances ferrying the wounded, many limping to safety and assistance. Local hospitals have seen many days like this. Even so, they're overwhelmed with patients, many being triaged at the blast site, some not even making it into the building. The Taliban said they carried out the attack, their second in a week. Last Saturday, storming a major hotel at dinner time, going floor by floor. Hotel guests using bedsheets to try and escape. 22 were killed, including four Americans in that attack. And Ian Panel, who has done extensive reporting in Afghanistan, joins us live. Ian, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, said earlier this month the Taliban are moving closer to peace talks and, quote, U.S. policy on Afghanistan is working. Yeah, that's right, Tom. I've heard these claims repeatedly over the years, and sadly, they're just not borne out by the facts on the ground. And let's just look at it. You've got more U.S. troops coming in, another bloody fighting season beckons, and now the third major attack this year. It certainly doesn't look like success. Tom? Ian Panel with some perspective on that cycle of violence out of Afghanistan. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.